This is the old Navy Oscar pattern. I was a Navy pilot, however, I never used this pattern to develop my instrument skills. I assume that this pattern was or comes from the prop community or is so old that it predates me. However, pilots of my vintage and background use the S1 and S3 patterns for instrument scan development. These patterns are similar and serve the same purpose as the Oscar pattern. The purpose of these patterns is to provide an exercise which will teach the fledgling aviator about multitasking in the cockpit and will highlight the best techniques to use when attempting to read and understand your flight instruments. That is, it will help you develop your instrument scan. The Oscar pattern can be laid out in several different ways, and mine may be different from others you've seen in the past. However, they all achieve the same results. Here is how you should fly my Oscar pattern. Use the attitude gyro to set your aircraft's climbs or descents attitude. Use the VSI to determine the correct attitude to set, either plus or minus 500 feet per minute rate of climb. Use the orange pipper to precisely set your attitude. The pipper is the orange dot on the aircraft in the center of the attitude indicator. Use the turn coordinator to set a standard rate turn, i.e. wingtip on the SRT indicator mark. The above two tasks should be your primary focus. Spend 75 to 80% of your scan time on these three instruments, the attitude gyro, the VSI, and the turn coordinator. Mostly on the gyro and turn coordinator, but don't neglect your other instruments. Use the clock to determine status, that is behind or ahead in both rate and climb. Attempt to keep the airspeed between 100 and 120 knots. This is your least critical task. However, a slower airspeed may make achieving the proper attitude and or turn rate more difficult. Hints. Trim out pressures. Trim, trim, and then trim again. Start turns two seconds early by setting the correct attitude and rate. Rely on proper attitude and rate to make timing work out. It may seem busy, but remember you have a full minute and a half between consecutive climbs and descents and 30 seconds of straight and level time between all events. Make good use of each 30 seconds of straight and level time, i.e. trim everything up and think ahead. Be familiar with the pattern. Have it printed out or place it on a separate screen. Know where you are and where to look. Do not dwell on past mistakes. Think ahead. The pattern's within the pattern. There is a left climb, then a right descent, then a right climb, and then a left descent. There is a level right turn between every climb and descent. And as I said earlier, there is a 30 second straight and level leg between every event. That is between every turn, every climb, or every descent. That's it. Well, good morning, folks. Here we are climbing out of Pearland, heading towards Galveston at the moment. As I level at 2,000 feet, I'm going to start a turn to west to set up for the Oscar pattern. And as you know from the brief, the first 30 seconds of the pattern is just flying straight and level, trying to get set up established at 2,000 feet on a heading of west. I'll try to maintain an airspeed of, of somewhere between 100 and 110 knots. Try to keep it trimmed up and go through a series of turns. It's best to have the uh, a little uh, pattern uh, printed out on a piece of paper and, uh, and kind of follow along so you don't get lost. It's very easy to get lost. And uh, don't feel disappointed if it takes you a while to, to learn this, get this down. Now, I've been flying for, what, 40 years and uh, it's not all that easy. It's made a little bit more difficult in the, in the uh, simulator because the trim is a little, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 
um, sluggish, I guess is the best way to put it. Okay, here we are established at 2,000 feet. I'm heading west, and I'm going to go ahead and start the clock. Get it set at zero, and then click it on to start the timer. Okay, heading in west, 2,000 feet. Airspeed's uh, established. And waiting for the 30 seconds to expire, we'll do a left 360 degree turn. It should take us two minutes. After the first minute, minute we should be heading uh, east. Okay, now I'm going to establish that attitude. A 500 foot per minute rate of climb. And also a standard rate turn. Trying to maintain that as steady as you can. And if you do that, your numbers will, will work out. Now, like I said, passing through east. We should be at uh, 130. And it looks like we're going to be pretty close to that. And we should be climbing through 500, uh, 2,500 feet. So we're pretty close to that. And now we're looking for uh, coming to west to be uh, at 3,000 feet. I think we're looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit behind on the turn. Keep that attitude. Set that attitude. Set that attitude. Okay. A little ahead on the climb, so I'm slowing my rate of climb a little bit. Coming up on 230 at west, that looked out pretty good. So as long as you maintain that, attitude, things will work out for you. Okay. Now, uh, I've got 30 seconds to sort of establish um, west and 3,000 feet and my airspeed. I'm on the high end of that. And at three minutes, I'm going to start a right turn level. And there's three minutes, so I start a level right turn, standard rate, to a heading a north for the second leg. Just maintain that standard rate, and if you do that properly, you should roll out on north at 3.30. Okay, and pretty close. Now you got another 30 seconds to get ready before you begin your right descent for a thousand feet. Again, establishing an attitude. And we're going to do that at four minutes. Okay, there we are. We're going to start it. We're going to set the attitude and the rate of turn. Now, just you have to be very particular about where you place that pipper and your angle of bank to try to maintain that 500 foot per minute rate of descent. Kind of follow up with trim. Okay, and the two headings we really are concerned about are south and north now because we're on that north leg. 
Okay, I'm a little bit fast on the airspeed. So I gotta pull the par back a little bit. Okay, and passing through uh, five minutes. So we're a little bit ahead on the turn, but we're right about, we're right on an altitude. So let's keep that 500 foot per minute rate of descent going. And still a little ahead on the turn rate. Five hundred foot per minute rate of turn. And I think the turn rate is looking pretty good right at the moment. Passing west at five thirty. Okay, we're looking for six minutes to roll out. Okay, I'm a little bit fast still. Five to five hundred foot per minute rate of descent. I'm a little bit too fast, so I'm gonna level that off so I got down a little bit too quick. That's okay, we'll just level off here and not let everything catch up. And there's six minutes rolling out on north. So setting an attitude and setting a proper turn rate makes the timing work out. And you do that by setting attitudes on the, the horizon and maintaining the proper attitude by referencing the VSI and the um, Turn coordinator. Okay, I'm looking for 6:30. Okay, and at 6:30, I'm going to start a standard rate turn to the right again, to the west or to the eastbound heading. This is a level turn, standard rate turn. Trim it up. Trim it up. And. We'll be uh, rolling out on east, an eastbound heading, right now, at about uh, seven minutes. Okay, we're at seven minutes. At 7.30, we're going to start a right climb. But uh, while I'm waiting for that 7.30 to come, I'm kind of trimming everything up, establishing a good, proper attitude. Coming up on 730, it will be a right climbing turn. Okay, set the attitude. 500 foot per minute rate of climb. Add a little bit of airspeed since we're going to be climbing and set that standard rate turn. Okay, got to maintain that attitude, that nose up attitude. Standard rate turn. Maintain the attitude, trim it up, trim it up. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Maintain that attitude. Don't let it slip. Don't get too fast. Okay, passing through west should be about 8.30. I think we're looking pretty good. 830 and uh, 2,500 feet. Just about right on. And that's because we're maintaining the standard rate turn and the attitude pretty well. Just keep that up going all the way around. We're going to pass through north to uh, eastbound because we're on the eastbound leg. And at about uh, nine minutes, we should be right there and passing through north. So we're looking pretty good. Keeping it up, keeping it up. Are we getting a little bit behind on the turn? So we increase the turn rate a little bit. Keep the attitude steady. Yeah, definitely a little bit behind on the turn. Okay, and a little bit ahead on the altitude, so I'm going to level that off. And as we come out on east, we'll roll out. Okay, and now this, we got 30 seconds to establish our bona fides here. Heading east. 
Okay, and the next thing at 10 minutes, so in 15 seconds, we'll start a just a level right-hand turn to the southbound leg. Okay, established night. Right, trim it up, trim it up. There's 10 minutes, starting the standard rate level turn. Level turn. Standard rate level turn. Okay, level turn, standard rate, to a heading of south, heading of south, and we should roll out at about uh, 1030, so pretty close. Okay, now we've, we've uh, got 30 seconds to, uh, again, get settled, established, trimmed up. I'm a little bit fast in the airspeed, so I'm going to pull a little bit of power. And this would be a left descent. And we'll start this at the 11 minute mark. Okay, there's the 11 minute mark. Be a left hand descent. Set the attitude. Set the turn rate. And pull a little bit of power. Hold that attitude. Hold the turn rate. And it'll pull the power a little bit. Watch the attitude. Keep the turn rate coming up. A little bit too much there. Okay. A little bit behind on the turn. Just keep it coming. Okay, and we're going to be passing through. Oops, set the attitude, set the attitude. Through uh, north of 12 minutes. Okay, so we're a little bit behind on the turn. We're a little bit ahead of the uh, descent. So I've got to, I'm going to level that off just almost. Okay, we're a little bit behind on the turn, a little bit ahead on the descent. Okay, a little bit ahead of the descent. Okay, reestablish it. And we're a little bit behind on the turn, so we got to increase the turn rate. And we're looking for heading it south. A little fast. Still a little bit uh, behind on the turn. Okay, we should be uh, rolling out at uh, 13 minutes. Right there, pretty close. And at 2,000 feet. And we'll just sort of time it out here. And the end of the exercise is at 13.30 as we exit to the south. And that's pretty much the Oscar pattern for our, our purposes. I've seen variations of the same thing, but that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys next time.